Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. Whenever we are working with our uh, Oracle application, Oracle Fusion applications, here options. When we try to create a user account, we'll be getting sometimes error messages here. For example, I'm trying to create a user account here and I'm mentioning the username as uh, this. So and so username and I'm going to set the password here. And if required, we can add the roles. Otherwise, uh, without roles also, we can have the users. But users cannot perform any operations without roles here. Yeah. And try to save and close. Right. Now, whenever we go for create this user account, sometimes we'll be getting this error message here. This Java language error issue type here. Okay. Right now, it is success. But a very rare case. Okay. That time, what we have to do is you have to go to your uh, setup and maintenance. At enterprise level, we need to check the setup here. Go to the task here, enterprise HCM information. Go to enterprise HCM information. So manage enterprise HCM information is one of the important tasks where we will be performing all the human capital management related setups like workday information, nothing but office timings for employees, worker number generation, person number generation, person number means employee number, how about employment model and uh, salary level, okay, currency support here. Here is actual, uh, we will see the user account uh, creation. Uh, make sure that your user account creation is enabled. So go to edit, correction, Go to edit and correction. And here you can choose that both persons and party users are party users only. Person means employees. Party users are nothing but suppliers as well as for the customers also. Okay, This is user account creation. And user account role provisioning. It's basically when we are working with the roles, uh, there is a concept called role provisioning rules that we can apply it for both persons or party users or not here. If in case, if we want to have any user account for terminated workers also, for example, we have terminated one worker, means terminated an employee. Employee left the organization, we have terminated, but still you need access to our uh, application, then we can provide this option here. So why we required to provide uh, after termination also? There might be some pending uh, issues like maybe disbursement, any any leaves, uh, calculation or final settlement is pending. In that scenario, employee wants to log in and uh, cross check their uh, information. After termination also, we'll give the permission for the terminated workers to access the application here to access the application over here, then it's going to be used. So most of the times clients will not use that. Here it will be specified over here. Let's go for uh, review this. A lot of other uh, setups will be there, position, synchronization and other, but generally we don't use that. Uh, this is human capital management, mainly they will be using. go for submit so you, you can cross check this particular setup once in case if you are getting problem while creating a user account or whenever you are going to uh, hire an employee in human capital management also you are going to get some issue over there it is but this is how it will work click done button manage enterprise hcm information sometimes in the interviews they'll ask you where do we enable the user account creation for our employees uh, where do we enable it for suppliers as well as for the customers also? What is the name of the task? Manage enterprise HCM information. As we have already discussed in enterprise structure configurator, there will be only one enterprise. Within the enterprise, we'll find divisions, legal entities, business units, LDZ, ledgers, and inventories, right? But when it comes for the enterprise, there is only one. That's why there is no scope. We don't find the scope when you try to open this particular uh, task called manage enterprise HCM information because directly the enterprise will be open. If it is legal entity or business unit, 
system will ask you choose the legal entity or choose the business unit so that the corresponding uh, organization data will be populated over here okay thank you